Once upon a time, there was two colleagues in a college, one boy and one girl, and as you might imagine, the boy wanted to rub his wee-wee in the girl's chuchi. So he studied a master in IT to build an app related to dating, so he can trick her and manipulate her, so she will be all and with that she can accept going on a date with him, um, maybe rub genitals. So he created the app and went to show it to her. They were the first two users in the world, no one else. So he hopes that she will swipe right as he was the only single user male appearing on her screen. But that didn't happen. She didn't even care. She said, ah, oh, what a nice app. <laughs> and as you might imagine, he was really pissed and angry as his master plan didn't work. But he wasn't being able to just cut his losses, nope. And also we're talking about a guy that went as far as create an app just to ask a girl out. She was smart and had a tendency to value status, money and reputation over people, so she wasn't afraid to use it and to use him to achieve that. She saw a niche in the app with people that want, with no real effort, stop wondering how many people would like to get stick or been stick by their genitals, and uh, with a real struggle, just a couple touches in the phone. So she talked to him to put it the app into a business idea, and he offered actions in a work that she doesn't even know how to do it, but at least she knows how to cash it. She accepts, even with really knowing that his friend was buying her. Maybe because his crappy life let him believe that he needed to be proved by herself to others, as his progenitors always had been given and withdrawn his kindness as a way to get what they want. And well, all go fine, yes. They hit the jackpot. People really love the app. People really need to see how many people would like to be kinky with them, and also a way of being fooled to keep searching for the one. Our friend keep trying to get some action, so he buy her flowers, chocolates, and Teslas, but she knew that he was just an ATM for her. But being overwhelmed by his attempts, she she even changed his office to the one in the corner with no ocean view. But he became frustrated as he was not able to stick it. And so how many others like her, planets tend to stick in the same orbit, use her as a penis washing machine and STD dispenser. Jealous that he was paying a CFO salary and getting no even back rubs. I'm thinking that if you do or give something to someone that didn't tell you to have right over them, like you were educating pets, so he can just let it go and finally end up harassing her, and was charged with prison. And she kept everything he owns, and the world applauded to her. So the moral of the story is, all the things that Star bought will send you to jail. And you might not see them, cause you will be fooling yourself that they are okay, when they are not. The end.